During the investigation of the Titanic shipwreck, researchers noticed a strange thing. At the bottom of the sea, the next part of the ship was in very good condition, while the last part was in extremely bad condition and it was also 2,000 feet away. Although for 100 years, iron and steel rot when lying at the bottom of the sea, but if these two were part of the same ship and drowned at the same time, then why is there so much difference in the next and the last part? Researchers believe that on the night of the accident, apart from crashing into the iceberg, something happened to the Titanic, which caused more damage to the last part. But the question is, what is it? Welcome back to World Explorer's Corner Videos. In 1912, the night when the accident happened with the Titanic, it was alone in the middle of the dark sea 700 kilometers from the Newfoundland of Canada. At the time of the accident, a total of 2,240 people were on board, out of which 1,500 people lost their lives. The one who was called unsinkable was seen by the Black Sea in front of the power of nature. The eyewitnesses of this accident were only those who had somehow jumped out of the ship and jumped into the cold water of the Atlantic Ocean. The record of whatever happened from the iceberg to the sinking of the ship was not with anyone except those eyewitnesses who were themselves busy fighting the cold water. The first rescue ship RMS Carpathia also reached there after 1.5 hours of sinking the Titanic. It was also fortunate that they got the emergency message of the Titanic, otherwise those who were fighting the battle of life and death in the cold water, their lives would not be saved. And no one knows about the Titanic's accident to date. At first, no one knew what happened to the ship during the investigation. But then the survivors said that the ship collided with an iceberg. These statements were also confirmed after seeing the iceberg on the spot on which the Titanic's red paint was still on. After the accident, the eyewitnesses and the evidence were seen in the investigation report that on the right side of the Titanic, the iceberg left a 300-foot long hole. One-third of the entire side of the Titanic was torn apart. But on the other side, eyewitnesses said that it took about 2.5 hours for the ship to sink. Investigators believe that if the iceberg really left a 300-foot-long hole on the Titanic, then it had to sink in a few minutes, not in 2.5 hours. But no one knew what the truth was at that time. To know the truth, it was necessary to find the Titanic ship. For many years, the search for the Titanic continued, and every passing year, this mystery became more and more serious. After 73 years, when the Titanic was found, it was a big breakthrough for the marine industry. It was time to find the answers to all the questions that the Titanic left behind. At a depth of 4,000 meters in the Atlantic Ocean, the Titanic had been found in the dark for decades. Many expeditions were arranged, which captured countless photos of the shipwreck. Oceanic explorer Paul Henri Nargelet has visited the Titanic more than 30 times, but he has never seen a 300 foot long hole. However, in this profile photo of the Titanic, the area of 30 feet shows that something was stuck here. Its area is only 11 square feet, and according to the calculations, 370 gallons of water could have been stored in the Titanic every second. This means that the whole ship would have been filled in 2.5 hours. And according to eyewitnesses, it took only 2.5 hours for the Titanic to sink. One mystery was solved that the Titanic had not a 300-foot-long hole, but a 30-foot-long crack. But this was not the only mystery. There is still a lot to be known. During the investigation on the Titanic shipwreck, Researchers were not able to understand how the next part of the ship, which is called the bow, is in better shape than the previous part, i.e. the stern. And why is there such a big gap between the two? To solve this mystery, high-tech sonar scanning technology was used. ROVs captured hundreds of thousands of photos of the Titanic shipwreck site and then converted them into a 3D model using computer graphics. This model also had all the details that no ordinary camera or human eye can see in this depth. It can be seen in the model that all the 392 feet long stern decks are embedded in each other as if they were not made of steel but of paper. 
Different parts are separated from the ship and scattered around. Only two engines as big as the size of a house are attached to it. Another important sign is also hidden in this model. The sign that tells about the state of the stern. 110 years ago, when the stern collided with the ocean floor, its signs are still printed here. These signs can only be seen through the 3D model. These signs show that the stern was rotating anti-clockwise. Scientists can guess from these signs that the stern was surprisingly going into the water at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. When the last part of the ship was going into the depth of the water at such a speed, the forces that were created by the water lifted the loose parts of the ship and when they collided with the ocean floor 4 kilometers below, all its decks were embedded in each other. On the other hand, as you can see, the bow section, the front section is designed to be hydrodynamic. It means that it can easily cut the water. Similarly, when the ship is floating on the water, it cuts the water and creates its own path. This is why the bow section was neither rotating nor the water forces were directly attacking it. Finally, another mystery of the incident that took place 110 years ago has been solved. But there is another question that is very important to find the answer to. That is, when did the Titanic ship separate into two parts? As you know, the eyewitness gave the news of the ship breaking into two parts. It has been believed that the Titanic was divided into two parts before it sank. This news is quite true, but not entirely true. When the bow section was filled with water, it went into the water. Due to which the entire weight of the stern section was lying on the pivot point. This center point could not bear so much weight and broke and divided into two parts. Today, the body of the RMS Titanic has been completely rusted. Scientists believe that oxygen is very low in this depth of the ocean, due to which the rusting process is also very slow. But when some samples of rust were taken out and tested, it was found that rust is due to the oxidation process caused by bacteria releasing oxygen. Experts believe that as rust continues to progress, in the coming years, all the decks of the Titanic will collapse upon each other and then it will lose its original structure forever. I hope you will also enjoy and share this video. See you in the next video.